You know what I think is the hardest part of working out? I think it's this. I think it's when you don't have someone to coach you or encourage you along the way. And I think that's true for most things in life. Good morning, everybody. I hope you are all doing so well. We are so excited that you guys have just been on this journey with us. You know, one of those things that we've been talking about a lot lately is our desire to kind of get fit this year, our desire to um, make some big changes in our lives that I think are gonna better us for the long term when it comes to being a family, um, being a dad, being a healthy father, being a healthy husband. And so one of the things that I actually wanna talk to you guys about today um, and just kind of bring you along in this journey is I need to get physically fit. And I, I've been mentioning some of these huge New Year's resolutions and I've actually already begun them this week and uh, I want you guys to go ahead and take a look at my first day of working out. almost in the books. If the uh, camera's not steady, it's because I'm shaking. That was exhausting. That was not a, what I would say is a typical workout on my normal day. Pushed it, almost fainted, definitely almost threw up, and um, feeling really tired. But I'm also feeling, with the encouragement of Paul, that guy, and with you guys, I think this can be done. Um, got a long way to go. You know what, I think now is like a time to just be responsible with who I am and be responsible in my ability to become physically fit again. And so I wanna just kinda bring you guys along this journey. To know me is actually to know that I was born with a congenital heart defect. I actually have scars, like I don't know if you guys can see, but like I have had three open heart surgeries. I've had a dozen other operations. My, my grandmother and my mom and my dad had said, you know what, Philip, there's a purpose for his life. There's a reason for his life. And I, I, I haven't done myself justice with good eating. You know, there's been periods of my life that it's just been a huge, huge struggle. Yet, what I want to tell you is this, I, I grew up playing sports and I played hockey and soccer, I played a little bit of basketball, I played a little bit of uh, flag football, I wanted to play tackle, I wanted to be that intense person, but I was never given the medical release for. And then I ended up finding passion for golf and tennis through high school. And so I've had a lot of journeys of physical sports, but I've never really had this desire to be in a gym and kind of locked up and I've, I've always felt like that kind of being acclimated to something like that kind of made me feel caged in getting on an elliptical five days a week at this schedule for you for some that might be super easy for me it's really hard and so working out has always been hard for me um, to just get consistent with it but remember a few few days ago I, I vlogged about how one of my resolutions is actually consistency I want to develop a consistency of something that fits me and so I don't know what it is for you but something might fit you this year of your physical health and as I just showed you those clips of my first day with a member of my church who runs a CrossFit gym. And so he's helping me kind of jumpstart my nutrition and jumpstart my physical activity again this year. And so I asked him, I said, hey, I can't come into the gym today because I'm watching the girls. And actually, if you're wondering, like, where are the girls right now? My mom actually came over to the house to watch Callie because Kinsley, I put her down for a nap. And Alex actually right now is at a baby shower. But right now, what I, what I want to tell you guys is this. No matter where you are in your journey, you can do it. No matter where you are in your physical fitness level, you can do it. I'm going to bring 
bring you guys alongside every few days and just kind of give you guys a report. I'm gonna tell you right now where I am now. You know, I, I, I've never, I, I stepped on the scale last week for the first time. I was, I was well over 200 pounds. And as five foot 10, like that shocked me. Right now I'm gonna go do some sprints. I want you guys to kind of see what this journey looks like. And I wanna be vulnerable with you um, to the point that I might show you when I cry and I might show you when I don't wanna work out. And I might show you when I'm cheating with a meal and I might show you when I'm eating really healthy. But, but I want to be able to help you guys and maybe be an inspiration to you knowing that you can do it no matter where you are in your physical level of fitness. Um, you can start small, you can just get outside and get going. Maybe you guys can feel like, yeah, like I can identify with that couch potato. I can identify with that glutton. I can identify with that overeater, that midnight snacker, and that just chronic uh, food craver. Um, but wherever you are, guys, just know that this can be your journey too if you say yes, I'm gonna change my life. You guys, I'm stuck in wind. I'm really out of shape, but I'm really proud of myself for doing it. Whoo! Yeah, it's really, really, really hard. You know what I think is the hardest part of working out? I think it's this. I think it's when you don't have someone to coach you or encourage you along the way. And I think that's true for most things in life. So right now, I don't have one kicking me in the butt. And I need it. And I think that's why people join gyms. And I think that's why people get personal trainers. Because having accountability and things that you hate, for me, that working out makes all the difference in the world. To be honest, you guys are my accountability. You guys are the ones that are gonna push me, maybe even push each other to keep on going, to get healthier this year in a physical sense and a lot of other ways too. But I'm gonna keep pushing, I'm gonna keep running. My goal is 25 more sprints that are about 25 yards. And I'm gonna keep on doing it. And then I'm gonna rest. And I'm gonna eat healthy today. I already had healthy food today. It was great. I made a protein shake with fruit and veggies. Whew, that was tiring. I, um, I did 25, 25 yard sprints. As you saw, probably some horrible form, but I'm gonna get there and I'm gonna go take a rest, get some water, and then later tonight, I'm hopefully gonna go on a walk with Alex and the kiddos. My gosh, small workouts, small results, one day big results with big workouts. Uh, I can do this, and I know you can do it too. Whew, gonna go get some water. Hello. Did you poopy? Yeah. Blanky, good job. Callie, you hear Callie? Eat. Eat. Are you hungry? Up. You're hungry? Ah. Okay, let's get some food. Ah. Let's change you first because you said you poopied. Ah. You see Mimi? Ah. Hi, Callie. Hi, sweet thing. Hey, Mimi. Me. They love you so much, Mom. Up. Up. Well, we have to change your poopies first. First. Can we change you first? Okay. Let's change you. Okay, I'm gonna put this diaper on you, okay? Okay. Okay. Hi. Uh, Hi, Callie. Yes, yeah, she's What's spinning she up. Do? He's spinning up a What'd little bit, say? huh? We try to clean up the house yeah. as much as we can because mom is on her way home. And guess what? Who called? Mom herself. Yeah. So, Kinsley. Kinsley, are you talking to mommy? It's so fun. So you guys, it's been a been a crazy fun day. Uh, more to come on my story. That's not a stuffed animal. That's Kai. That's Kai. She's sleepy, huh? Is Kai sleepy? Sleepy. Did you hang up on mommy? On mommy. Did you hang up on her? I'm here. 
<laughs> yeah, you hung up on mommy. Are you ready for mommy to come home? Home. Home. It's been a, been a nice relaxing day, just listening to some music, calm around the house, not watching much TV at all, but really just trying to uh, enjoy the Saturday with the girls before mommy gets home, but she's gonna get home any minute. Ready? She's gonna walk through the door right now. Who's home? Who is that? Hi. Who is that? Someone missed you. Did you miss me? It smells like poop in here. Did you poop? No, but there's a diaper right there that's filled with poop. Oh my gosh, I like... Hi! Hey everybody, so we just got to my parents' house and we're gonna make a little bit of food right now and we're gonna eat and we're gonna hang out and we're just gonna have a relaxing evening. Easter? <gasps> Good job! Yay! Did you get a little bit of it on you? That's okay, it's just water. Ah, <gasps> Callie. Did you discover your bumbo? Kinsley, you used to be in that. Crazy how you don't fit in there anymore, huh? <laughs> Guys, look how big Callie is, it's crazy. She's sitting up on her own. What are you thinking? Ah. What are you thinking, little beautiful? She's discovering her hands. She fidgets her hands like a lot while she's eating, but at the same time, she kind of is figuring out how to use her hands and it's so precious. And now she's sitting up straight. And right now she's actually not in her brace. But check it out. She's enjoying being up. Hi, horsey. Hi, horsey. What does a horsey say? Nay, good job. I used to ride that horsey when I was a little child. Minnie Mouse. She's hungry. Minnie Mouse? Yeah, are you making food for Minnie Mouse? Minnie Mouse. Alright, you guys. Everybody is tucked in bed. Can I just say I am so proud of Philip. I just can't believe what he's taking on. And so I think that you guys should give him a thumbs up and let us know if you guys are joining on the journey with him and maybe trying to do just one extra thing to be a little more physically fit this year. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. We're really thankful for you guys and you guys go let your love multiply this year. See you in our next video. Bye.